move your head out of the way. This is our family story as far back as we have gone. Our most distant relative discovered by our family tree detective, my mother, Vivian Burgess Martin, is Gassien Sounia. We were married Catherine Venier in 1604. This is the 11th prior generation grandfather. Gassien was a miler and had a mile called Moulin de Berton. Gassien also had a parcel of land and a vineyard named Petite Bourrasserie in Nouzilly, France, a small village located 15 miles northwest of Tours. Together, Gassien and his wife had eight children. The sixth child, Charles, was born on September 25, 1616. Charles Chouinard would in time marry Elizabeth Vallin and become the father of Jacques Chouinard, our Canadian pioneer. Jacques Chouinard was born on January 6, 1663 in beaumont la royce a village five miles to the northwest of Nouzilly. At some point, Jacques sailed across the Atlantic to New France, a marriage contract on May 13, 1692 in Quebec with Louis Jean confirms his presence in North America. He was described as a charretier, one who deals with the transport of goods and people. The wedding was held at Notre Dame de Quebec on Monday, June 2nd, 1692. Louise was only 14 years old and Jacques 29. Under the terms of the marriage contract, her parents bestowed upon them the following effects and livestock, two horses and gear, one foal, one cart and equipment, one cow, one heifer, and 400 bales of hay. Louis's father also gave them a parcel of land with 45.5 acres of frontage on the Saint Laurence River with all buildings included. It was here on April 20, 1695, that their firstborn child arrived who became known as Pierre the Elder. It had to be you It had to be you I wandered around And finally found There's somebody who Could make me be true Could make me be blue And even be glad Just to be sad Thinking of you Some others I've seen John Baptiste Chenard once built a camper to Make use on the family love. vacation. It was probably one of the first campers ever built. However, the vacation was cancelled and all the kids were crying when after driving quite a distance, the camper would not fit under any of the covered bridges and they had to turn back. For nobody else gave me a thrill. This boy Joss relocated to Springfield, Massachusetts to live with his mother's relatives. Grandma remembered him living when she was young. Wonderful you, it had to be you. It had to be you. It had to be you. I wander around Finally I found the somebody who Could make me be true Could make me be blue And even be glad 
just to be sad Thinking of you Some others I've seen Might never be me Might never be cross Or try to be boss But they wouldn't do For nobody else Gave me a thrill With all your thoughts I love you still It had to be you Wonderful you It had to be you Hey mom, do you uh, maybe have any stories about grandma that none of us have ever heard? When my mother uh, was about 10 years old and still uh, going to school at the convent, um, a nun caught her drawing a picture of a woman's new breast and punished her by making her stand in the hallway with a note pinned on her dress, except the nun had pinned her skin along with the dress. And she was there for many hours because the nun had forgot about her. And later, as it got dark, Mother Superior came down the hall and found her. And uh, my mother, mother, Amanda, went to the school and raised holy hell for my mother's uh, chest being so swollen from being pinned to that dress. And note, uh, my mother, and while Gianna and her sister, Alexandria, they lived at this Catholic convent school in the same town as their parents. Because the parents had a hotel called the Windsor Hotel, and they had many male boarders. Uh, but they would get home, they, they could get home on the weekends where they would be put to work. And one of my mother's jobs was to throw salt and water uh, to the oysters and clams down in the cellar. She said that uh, when they would open to eat the salt, they would do this clicking and it would sound like a symphony. Um, later on, they uh, waited tables as they got older and uh, that's how she met my father, Thomas Burgess who was a boarder at the time. Thank you, Mom. Now on with the show.
is Francis with Like You, the family dog. Like You was a special dog who babysit the children for grandma. He had a special harness so he could take the Burgess babies around the block in the wicker buggy until they fell asleep. You can see the buggy behind Francis in the unfinished kids' house. Well, it's one for the money, two for the show, three to get ready, and I go, can't go, but don't you step on my blue suede shoe. Well, you can do anything but take me over my blue suede shoe. Well, you can knock me down, step in my face, slander my name all over the place. Well, do anything that you want to do, but not, uh, uh, honey, lay off them shoes, and don't you step on my blue suede shoe. Well, you can do anything but take me over my blue suede shoes. Let's go, Cat! Steal my car, drink my liquor from an old fruit jar. Well, do anything that you wanna do, but uh, uh, honey, lay off of my shoes and don't you step on my blue suede shoe. Well, you can do anything, but take me over my blue suede shoe. Rock it! For the money, two for the show, three to get ready now. Go, 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 but don't you step on my blue suede shoe. Well, you can do anything but the hell for my blue suede shoe. Well, it's blue, blue, blue suede shoes. Blue, blue, blue suede shoes. Yeah! Blue, blue, blue suede shoes, baby. Blue, blue, blue suede shoes. Well, you can do anything but the hell for my blue suede shoes.
This is my daughter Vivian. Her birthday is September 11th. Her grandmother's birthday on her mother's side is Pearl Harbor Day.
the fact.